I did some research this week on Alonzo. I, I dug deep into the discography that is Alonzo Williams. And there were a couple of projects that I came across that you and I have never talked about in our almost three years of doing this. And I would love to talk about just specifically a couple of those projects, if you don't mind. Uh, is that cool? Sure, go right ahead. All right, cool, cool. The first one, 1991, so a little bit later in Alonzo's career. This is kind of like a this is your life, Alonzo type shit. <laughs> 1991, Compton Cartel. Back in the Hood from Par Records. Yeah. Talk to me about that project. What do you know about that? Who was involved? Let, let's, let's talk about that project. Compton Cartel was something I did after the Compton Compilation. Um, it was Compton Compilation, although we didn't get the money we should have got, it still was a successful project, Okay. And at, back then, in 1991, anything with Compton on it was going to fly off the shelves, at least for the first two weeks, just to see if we could keep up the, uh, keep up the hype. And um, one of my um, guys at McCola, uh, Par Record, that was, that's, uh, that was... Um, Rudy Party? No, 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 no. That oh, was, okay. Par Records was uh, Chuck Fassett. He was the uh, marketing manager over at, uh, at McCola. Okay. He had a little sub deal, a label deal in part in McCola, and he talked me into doing a project, Compton Cartel, and that was uh, XCon, uh, Breastfed. Um, who else is on that record, man? Um, I think some a couple of the guys. I'll pull it up. Go ahead, keep talking. I'll pull it up. A couple of guys from um, I think Slip was involved in it. A couple other people was involved in it. It was um, it was uh. That's the one we're on, we're on the platform at the... Uh, yeah, exactly. It looks like a ble some bleachers or something. Some bleachers? No, maybe a platform. You're right. It's a platform. I'm sorry. I had to look closer. We're, we're on the platform at the Compton uh, Metro Rail Station. Okay. Oh, okay. And this is when... Oh, uh, MC, MC Shy. Mike, Mike T, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, Chaos Posse, Looney Tunes. Right, some of the guys, a couple of the guys from uh, Looney Tunes, yeah. Looney Tunes, he was around through the Compton Cartel, because he was a DJ for somebody else, I believe it was, in the Compton Compilation, but he still made the Compton Cartel. Anyway, um, we were at the, we were taking the picture that day, and I didn't know nothing about the laws. I, I never rode the train before, so we was on, 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 it was a bunch of black, young black men taking pictures. A sheriff okay. got, off on the, got off on the train, and like, look, what you guys doing? Taking pictures? Okay, cool. Excuse me. Man, about two trains later, they came, sheriff, they had like a train on the sheriff. <laughs> wow. Well, just so happened, just so happened, I was on the bottom floor going to my <laughs> truck, and when they got off, I looked up, and, they, and one of the guys said, Lions, they're giving us tickets for not having tickets. So I ran over to the ticket booth, started sticking money in it, Okay. So I came up to the platform. I'm passing out tickets. <laughs> the sheriff got, I, I was passing out tickets. <laughs> they can write tickets, okay, for being on the platform. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. And now they now they mad at me because I'm trying to cover my guy's ass, okay? Say, man, we're just taking pictures. We're not trying to, you know, you can't be on the platform without a ticket. Well, here, here go tickets, man. Well, you can't get my tickets. Who said I can't? Okay? You can bullshit them. You can't bullshit me. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe two or three of the guys got tickets for being up there, man. But Damn. Yeah, one of the crazy. And stories. let me guess, you probably covered it. I covered, it, of course. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Nobody wouldn't go. Damn. It was, it was like a twenty. Might have been twenty five, thirty dollars at that time. It was. That was twenty some years ago. So times have changed since then. Yeah. yeah. But it was cool. See, I knew you'd have a funny story. You have a funny story, pretty much based on anything. I love that shit. Okay, oh. that's an interesting project. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? I'm always tuned into the to the funny part of shit, man. I look, I look for the funny shit. I look for yeah. the fun in shit, okay? I don't look for the drama. I look for the, oh, okay, that's some funny shit, okay? I tune into shit like that. Go ahead. That's funny, man. Yeah, okay, so that's that, that's one of the projects. Um, Mike T, is that dude from Compton's Most Wanted or am I tripping? Mighty Mike T. Yeah, Mike T. Why do I know that name? Mike T from Compton's Most Wanted. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so it's the same guy, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Here's another one. Um, long ass title, first of all. 
Everything you wanted to know about Compton, but was too scared to go there and find out. MC Chile and the Concrete Jungle featuring DJ Faze from 1993. My name was on that shit? <laughs> it sure was, man. Yeah. It's under your discography. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you better look into it because they, they might owe you some money. <laughs> know about what Compton you say it's called every it's a, yeah this is literally the title everything you wanted to know about Compton was too scared to go there and find out it's MC Chile C-H-I-L-E and the Concrete Jungle J-U-N-G-O I have no idea what you're talking about yeah it, and it's connected to your discography on the uh, online so Lonzo unless there's another Lonzo Williams you better not be you perpetrating <laughs> interesting okay uh-oh. Well, damn! I was in—I I wanted to know about that specific project, but I guess uh, we'll, we'll find out. I'll, 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 shit! Tell me about it. Yeah, uh, shit! Let me pull it up here because it definitely has your name on it. Let's see. Let's see who was connected to it. And yeah, maybe they use something. Uh, a lot of executive producer or producer or what? All right. Let's see. What we got. What we got? What we got? Everything you wanted to know about Compton. All right. This dog. Here we go. Pulling it up right now. So Montana. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going in a... Celebrate life cer- cerebral. Teddy Styles in the house. What's up, folks? I just so William, William Zimmerman, who I saw in the last... Uh, he was part of the last project we just yeah. talked about. Yeah, Lonzo Williams, producer. World Class Wrecking Crew. Says you're a producer. So it's Michael Harris, uh, The Concrete Jungle. I'm going to just name some names. Um, and you know what? It, I think this is... They said that they recorded it at your studio. Cause it, what's the name of your studio again? Zotown. It was, I've been Lonzo, Back then. Zotown. 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 It was Zotown. Yeah, I remember seeing Zotown. Yeah, DJ Faye, Swamp Dog, MC World, MC Chile, William Zimmerman. Swamp Dog. I thought was the manager. Okay. Uh, huh. William Zimmerman, was, he, he produced stuff for Compton's Most Wanted. He was yeah. part of my, te- my production team. Uh, You've been part of so many damn projects you can't even keep up. I ain't got no money for that. For, I ain't seen that. <laughs> my part of the mind seen that check. Uh, Interesting. Swamp Dog, okay. Dog. Yvonne Williams, executive producer. Swamp Dog's wife. She passed a few years. Yeah. That's, that's whose wife? Yeah. Swamp Dog. That's my. Oh, okay. My, gotcha. My manager, a good one of my mentors. Huh. He might have made me yeah. a producer just for just for name recognition. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Look at your discography online when you get a chance, because you might sure find some other shit. 